Hey there, gorgeous. Today I want to talk about the Longchamp Le Pliage series of tote bags, and it's been out for so long that you might be wondering, is this bag still worth your money? Today I'm going to be reviewing my Longchamp Le Pliage Neo, as well as my experience with my Longchamp Le Pliage original that I bought 10 years ago. This in-depth review will go through everything you need to know, which includes the wear and tear of the bag, what fits inside, a comparison to the different other Le Pliage models, as well as the features and pricing. At the end of this video, I'll also be sharing with you some important tips and tricks on how to save money on the Longchamp Le Pliage collections. Longchamp is a French luxury company that was first founded in 1943 in Paris, now sold worldwide. This series of bags from Longchamp called Le Pliage actually means folding in French, which was inspired by the Japanese art of origami. Because of its popularity, the Le Pliage family of bags has expanded into a wide variety of other items like backpacks, crossbody bags, document holders, and small little makeup pouches. It's sold at $190 in US dollars, and comparatively, on resale websites, it's sells between $70 to $145 depending on the condition of your bag. The retail price of the Longchamp Le Pliage has only risen about 7% in the last 10 years, which means it's not an investment bag where you can make money off of the sale of this bag in the future. I actually have two of the exact same bags, the Le Pliage Neo in large in black. And you might be thinking, Jess, you're a little crazy. Why do you have two of the exact same bag? I'll be sharing an interesting story a little bit later in this video about why that is. There are two long handles here that are not detachable, they're fully sewn in. The bag is actually made of a polyamide canvas or nylon. That's what makes this bag just so lightweight. There are leather accents to the bag, which include two long shoulder straps, as well as the flap in the front, and then two leather pieces on the side here. The straps are not too rounded, which makes it very comfortable to hold over the shoulder. As you can see, they're somewhat flat and stitched on the other side here. On the shoulder straps, as well as the bottom side of the flap, is unlined so you'll see the raw cowhide side on these parts of the bag. The stitching throughout the bag is impeccable as you can see throughout the handles and around the flaps. On the front of the flap, you'll see the Longchamp logo as well as a button here that says Longchamp 1948 and also has the same galloping horse jockey logo. See on the back of the bag, it says Longchamp and Model Depose. In order to open the bag, you will have to drop the straps, unbuckle the flap and pull open the zipper. The zipper itself also has the Longchamp 1948 as well as the logo on it. The bag has a soft coated interior. It's one huge compartment space that you can fit everything in and only one other pocket that you have here that you can fit other items such as your cell phone, some credit cards, cash, etc. On the inside you will also see a clear tag that reads Longchamp Paris. This bag does have four corners to it and has a bottom but does not have any foot to it. There are two main differences between the Longchamp Le Pliage Originals as well as the Longchamp Neo bag. And that's the coloration of all the leather hardware pieces. In the Neo, that's the same color as the rest of the bag. In the Le Pliage Originals, they are of a caramel brown color and that's the same throughout all the different colorways of the different nylon bags. The other thing you'll notice is that the Le Pliage Original is meant to fold up into a really compact form. That's because there's a button at the back of it that's placed right here where you can fold it up. But in the Neo, there is no button here, which means you can't fold it and secure it in that same way that a Le Pliage original does. So keep that in mind when you shop for your bag. When I consider how often I use the Longchamp Le Pliage tote bag, I used to use it five days a week for work. But ever since we started quarantining and working from home, I really have not gotten much use out of this at all, especially as we're moving towards more of a hybrid work schedule and flexible working arrangements become more of the norm. I predict that people will start looking less for work-specific bags and more for versatile bags that they can use for many different occasions. Nowadays, the only time I ever use this bag is when I go to the beach or when I'm traveling to the airport. I'll also include this as an item in my luggage if I feel like I need a reusable bag, especially if I'm traveling to a place that I'm not familiar with and I'm not comfortable bringing designer bags. You also need to keep in mind that the Longchamp Le Pliage bag doesn't have that many compartments for you to be able to sort and organize your items with no built-in organizer. So if you like to keep your items more secure and in place, you would have to buy a separate bag organizer. This bag can really fit any and all the essentials that I have. I have a very large 16-inch laptop that can fit in 
here as well as a sweater and other bulky items. Many people suggest the use of a bag organizer, which is an insert that can help you organize your items. However, if you're like me and want to fit so many things into your bag, I find it easier, more flexible to just use the bag as it is. The main concerns I have about it is that the inside of the raw cowhide has turned a bit green and the inside has also become much more fluffed up. There's a water stain right here on the back of the bag and then there are a couple scratches especially towards the bottom of the bag. There has been a little bit of scratching on the zipper, but I would say it's not too noticeable. You'll see here, there's a little bit of pickup on the nylon fabric. There's been some wrinkling in the leather on the shoulder straps, definitely due to the amount of weight I've put in the bags because I've definitely stuffed it to the fullest when I go to work. This is also why I like the Neo so much and I like it in black because you really can't see the imperfections that much. I have actually had the corners of this bag repaired so that's why they look good right now but before there were holes in the corners of the bag before they got it repaired and that is a very common issue. Thinking to myself if I've done anything special to painting this bag, and the answer is absolutely not. I've definitely put this on the floor of subways, it's gotten really dirty, I've spilled some stuff in there, but everything is super easy to clean up because of the waterproof exterior and interior. You'll see on this one though, there's quite a few more white markings on the bottom side of the bag. I'm not entirely sure where that even came from. This is what it looks like after a quick rub down from a damp cloth with some soap on it. Did have to press quite hard on the white parts of the bag, but as you can see, all the white markings are gone. You can also easily flip this bag inside and out to clean it. I really hope that you're finding this review helpful so far. So if you are getting value out of this video, please click the like button down below, just so I know to make similar videos like this in the future. Long Shop does have a maintenance service. They fix the edges of your bags once, and then after that, I think you have to pay for it. And when you do get the corners of your bag replaced, if you do end up with holes in them, what they do do is they end up taking a little bit more of the bag and stitching it in there, which means you do lose a slight bit of space. Now let me share with you the story of why I have the exact same bag. I actually originally had the Le Pliage Original, which was the dark blue nylon with the caramel leather, and it was a limited edition that had beautiful cherry blossom stitching at the bottom. Purchased back when I went on my first vacation with my husband, I had very special memories attached to when I bought it. When I dropped this off at the Canadian store for repair, I had moved to the US and I was really busy with work. I received a reminder in the email about nine months later. So when I arrived in the store two weeks after I got that notification email, they told me that they didn't have it, which was very surprising for me. Ultimately, they told me that my bag was destroyed a week and a half after I received the notice to pick it up. At that point in time, it was not the cost of the bag that mattered the most to me. It was really the memories associated with that bag that made it so special to me. So I elevated this to the national sales manager. They essentially responded that they do have a policy where after three months, the bag is no longer their responsibility. For example, if it's lost or stolen. However, they did apologize for the incident and recognized they should not have destroyed the bag. Ultimately, they gave me credit so that I could purchase another bag, but because I was so busy with work, I just knew that I love this bag, so I bought another one of them because I was like, I can't go wrong with two of the same bag. I can always give it to my parents if I wanted to, and they can use it as well. I was satisfied with the fact that I did get an apology of them recognizing that this was the wrong thing to do and compensating me with another bag. Do you have any similar frustrating customer service experiences? Let me know in the comment section down below. The Le Pliage bag has such a wide variety of different collections, so I'm gonna do my best to summarize it in a way that'll help you decide what works for you. There are four different collections that have a similar monochromatic look to this. First is the Neo, which is the bag that I have, which comes in also a couple other colorways. Especially because nylon is a synthetic and cheaper material, having an overall monochromatic look helps elevate the bag a little bit more. And is also easier to style with your outfits, especially for more formal occasions like going to work or seeing clients. The Neo bag also I think is great for those of you who like a clean look. It's one of the only ones that doesn't have a clip in the back to fold it up. And I personally don't like having the clip here because I find that even if you're storing this bag or traveling with it, it folds flat perfectly fine by itself. The Le Pliage Green's not referring to the color of the bag, but the fact that it's a sustainable collection where it's using recyclable material. This is an excellent option for sustainability. You'll see an additional design piece, which is the stitching of the Longchamp Galloping 
Horse logo right here in a monochromatic color so it doesn't stand out too much. Another advantage of the green collection is that you can actually fold it completely up and buckle it together like the Le Pliage original, whereas the Neo doesn't do that. The Le Pliage club bag is also monochromatic, but the difference is that the interior raw hides of all the leather pieces are of a different color. And I think that's great for those of you who like a tiny bit of a pop of color, but want a monochromatic work elegant bag like this. And then of course you have the Le Pliage leather collection, which is the same thing as this, except the bottom part is leather and it comes only in the top handle configuration and it will come with a strap over the sides. Now the biggest difference is the price point. A top handle bag in medium, which looks somewhat similar in size to this one, is $640 compared to $190. So it's more than triple the price of the nylon bag. I'm a big lover of leather handbags, but I think at that particular price point, you have a lot more options that you can look into and compare to. Leather does require a bit more maintenance for it to be as durable over time. And then of course you have the original Le Pliage bag, which you can purchase in the standard colors, which is in the caramel leathers with either a blue or red, or you can personalize it yourself into any combination of hardware, leathers, nylon. You can also put your initials on it in the front to personalize it the exact way that you want. I also think that the personalization option is excellent for those of you who want a one-of-a-kind bag and know your style very distinctly. There's also an expandable version of the Longchamp bag, which I purchased once for my mother but had to return it because it actually didn't look that good on her. And because the expandable version has a zipper right in the middle of the bag, the bag really doesn't look as polished and you can really tell that it's more of a casual bag. When I compare the sizes of the bag, the one I have here is a large, but they also have a small and an extra large. The reason why I decided the large is the most flexible for me is because it fits my 16 inch laptop as well as other documents and papers that I would need to bring to work. I'm very passionate about optimizing my lifestyle to include only the items that spark lasting joy in my life but also provide function and value in the future. If you want to hear more about my philosophy, join me by subscribing and turning on the alerts so you know when my new videos pop up. There are four places that you can typically purchase a Longchamp Le Pliage tote bag. First, of course, is going into the stores and browsing through all of their Le Pliage bags. I think seeing this bag in person will really help you decide which colorways would best go with your wardrobe as well as which size bag fits your your body the best. Alternatively, you can also browse and purchase the Le Pliage online on the Longchamp official website, and this will show you all the varieties that they have. And I love looking at this option because certain stores may not carry all the different types of Le, Champ Le Pliages because there are so many. In addition, the website helps you visualize which ways that you can personalize the bag, and you can see how the bag would look if you added certain colorways and different hardware, as well as your initials and different prints on the bag. That way you'll get a really good look at what the bag will look like after you personalize it. You can also purchase this bag at your local department stores such as Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. This way of purchasing the Longchamp Le Pliage bag is actually the best way of you being able to accumulate points to be able to get discounts off of future items. And then fourth, of course, is on resale websites where you can purchase this used. I highly suggest purchasing this new. Not only will you be able to get assurance that the quality and the bag is 100% authentic, but this way you will have control over the wear and tear of the bag based on how you use it and not how others use it. The other downside for resale websites, especially if you have never used a Longchamp Le Pliage before, is that if you don't like it, you won't be able to return it. There are a couple ways that you can save in the Longchamp Le Pliage bag. Keep an eye out for department store sales. Sign up for email alerts to your favorite department stores that carry this bag. Especially when they have major sales like the Nordstrom annual anniversary sale, I've seen this bag go on sale for 30% or more off. Then I suggest you also keep an eye out for the subsidiaries of these major department stores. For example, Nordstrom Rack, which is a subsidiary of Nordstrom, has this specific bag for 34% off, as well as other Longchamp Le Pliage styles. I've included the link to that in the description below, so please take a look quickly before it runs out. Finally, to make sure you get the most of these purchases, make sure you use a high cashback or high point conversion rate credit card. You can make sure the money that you're spending on an item like this goes somewhat towards putting money back into your pocket. 
Honestly, this channel is still new and growing, so I would love to hear from you on what you would like to see more of on this channel in the comment section down below. I think the first way I have to analyze it is asking myself, do I regret this purchase? And my answer is absolutely not. When you compare the price of the bag to the quality of the bag and how long you can use it for, it's got one of the lowest cost per wears in my collection and therefore is definitely worth the money in my opinion. Those of you who may not consider this as worthwhile of a purchase is if you already have a well-established luxury collection and are looking for a work specific tote bag that is a bit more structured and professional. This is a bit slouchy and can come off a bit more casual. However, on the other hand, I think this is an extremely worthwhile purchase for young professionals who are just looking to start out the luxury bag collection because it's such a versatile item that can withstand quite a bit of abuse from using it for work, travel, or vacation for a long period of time. Especially if you're just starting out your career, it's much more worthwhile to invest that money instead of spending it on a much more expensive designer work tote bag. And even if you do come across any issues, you can always go into a long shop store and they'll take a look at it and see what they can do to help. Although I will caution you, if you do drop it off for repair, make sure you pick it up as soon as you can. And of course, the final consideration is you want to consider what your wardrobe looks like and how this bag works with your style. And the best way to do that is to learn some styling tips on this bag, as well as get some outfit inspiration, which you'll find in this next video.